So, okay, welcome to our travel itinerary. I'm Atlas, that's Eric, that's Timothy. And the topic of our itinerary is about uh, Xi'an University, a weekly Hong Kong tour. And this is our content page. And firstly, we'll talk about our tour's intended message. Like what are we trying to convey or try to give to the students? First of all, we'll talk about what is our tour. Our tour is actually based on our university, the Hong Kong Xi'an University, the residential hall, hence the name of the tour, where uh, there's a dorm where the students of our university lives and resides. And the target audience of our tour is uh, to the foreign teenagers who want to grasp the feeling of living in Hong Kong. Like for example, foreign teenagers who uh, came to Hong Kong to uh, study or just uh, have fun or have a tour, etc. They can join the tour and we are targeted towards them. And the main features of our tour is uh, three things, mainly. Uh, first of all, it's living in campus, like a campus life. And second is the campus tour, like uh, visiting our campus and our facilities. And third of all is uh, our sightseeing, like uh, for example, uh, our students will sometimes go to different place places for sightseeing. So this is our main features as well. So next we'll talk about what actually inspired our tour. Our idea of the tour is actually originates from, all, from our exchange schools and summer schools. Like for example, on, in the uh, below pictures, you can see some of our participants have uh, actually take part, took part in some of these exchange schools and summer schools. And in these uh, tours, you actually you live with the locals and you learn with the locals in order to taste the most genuine culture. Like for example, you live with them and therefore you learn with them, like how they live and how they eat, etc. And how, how is it different to exchange schools, our tour? In our tour, there are actually no courses, uh, there are therefore no burden of learning. And there's actually just fun and experience and leisure, which is uh, a more relaxing tour for uh, our foreign uh, students without the burden of learning. And next we'll talk about what are we selling from our tour. In our tour, we're actually selling our local authenticity, like the authenticity of our local life. Like for example, the most authentic uh, local student ex experiences, like uh, in general, just uh, learning and how we live, how we eat, etc. Like in our tour, our foreign uh, uh, students may experience the most authentic Hong Kong student life. Like for example, uh, studying and in general, like, like I mentioned above. Like they may do what locals do and eat what locals eat and therefore visit where locals visit. Like just based on our daily basis, like do what, uh, do what we do and eat what we eat, etc. Therefore, the idea of authenticity is actually only based on what we consider as our local experiences. Like from, from our take as Hong Kong students and Hong Kong University students. And, th and then uh, we'll talk about how, why, actually why did we choose to be our university to be our base of operation? Because we strongly believe that each university has its unique features. For example, our university has its feature as its uh, only supportive, its self-supportive uh, financial feature. Like, uh, therefore, uh, I think that we have a really strong feature in our university. And next, our whole lives are actually the most genuine Hong Kong student lives. Like for example, you share the room with others and you have limited space where you spend the most of your time in working and stuff. And last but not least, our tourists from our tour can actually try local foods in our nearby restaurants as well as our campus canteen, etc. And next we'll talk about our travel itinerary, uh, which I'll briefly talk about the details of our tour by Timothy. So now we'll, after we have established our, our purpose of the tour, that is authenticity, we're going to talk about our itinerary. So now these are the plans we are going to have over the seven days. Now we actually have to strike a balance between authenticity and being interesting because uh, we want them to experience what local would visit, we want to experience the local ones, but we also want to attract them through some kind, some of the places we have text. So let's go through it day by day. Now day one is a check-in and then we have a welcoming talk and dinner to introduce our tour and to tell them what, they, what facilities they can use during their stay in the campus. Now we're on the second day of the tour, in the morning, they will be walking around to show them the campus. And then at lunch, there will be a glass house for a cha chan ting, authentic experience, which Eric is going to talk about in a minute. Now, in the afternoon, we will visit two departments. These are the two most famous departments, which when I was still a secondary school student, these are what they introduced to us. So there's the Department of Law, which has a, which actually has an imitated 
court room just behind the office of OSA. We can go there for a look. There's also the Department of Journalism and Communication, which they also have top-notch facilities they, ha they are using. So we can take them to, for the interesting tour. Also, we can invite some professors and lecturers for sharing to introduce our university and promote our and promote our contribution to talk about our contribution to the field and dinner will have bbq and the third day we will take public transport now these are first in the morning we will take 25a to wan chai and then we will take star ferry to chim sa chai and then in the evening we will take mtr to wan chai now these are what we consider what local would take and thus it is authentic now uh, the tour would be there's a map here now on the now in the morning we'll just uh, walk through the avenue of stars and then we'll go through clock tower and then just a uh, just a uh, walk along the coach and then in the afternoon we'll go to the Kowloon Park and the shopping areas just around it so it will be one of our most interesting tour which we consider where locals people would visit now in the early evening there would be a city hunt, which is just shopping in the wet market in Wan Chai, and it will be led by our student helpers. Now, this city hunt actually has two purposes. First is to let our participants to experience the most local shopping experience, and second is to prepare food for our hot pot. Now, on the fourth day, there would be two tours which they could choose from. The first one is hiking from Quarry Bay to Burma Hill. And we choose this route because it is first, it is close to Xi'an University, which makes it really quite convenient. And second, we want some real activities for them. And third, you can see the you can see from the bird view perspective the Victoria Harbour, which it would be great if we can have a picnic with these with such views. If you are not that sporty, you can also choose our museum tour, which will which we will introduce Hong Kong food exhibitions. Now the first day would be the peak of our tour because participants will plan their day trip in advance. They will do research and decide where they want to be in on that day and they will be accompanied by a student helper on a one-on-one -on -one guided personalized tour and the main idea here is to encourage visitors to be an adventurer of course if they don't like to plan themselves there's also a local sham shape tour now our this actually is one of our higher it is one of our most in, most important approach we want to try this is the customer oriented approach now on the sixth stage of our tour we would like to do some sightseeing in the hong kong university we choose it because it is one of the most historical places in hong kong well and it is also the school of the great miss dr soon yet said and since it is historical we can see the history from the artifact from the architectures so uh here we can see, we can have a tour and have a stay in Hong Kong University. On the seventh day, we will go to Changchow for visiting the local markets and relax on the beaches. Now, these are all our tours. We are striking a balance between authenticity. So at the same, at the same time, we want to make them interesting and attractive to our participants. Now we will have Eric to talk about the local food culture. Uh, and the first significance of our tour is the uh, is the introduction of local food culture. Next. Uh, and there are two ex uh, major aspects of the local food culture that we want to introduce to the foreign students. First of first one will be the food itself, uh, the local cuisine. Another one would be the experience and the practices of having the meals. And there are two rules that we have to uh, strictly abide by. Um, the first one is we have to provide uh, what we can think of as a local and also the feasibility of implementing uh, this thing in the tour is also important. Next. Uh, the first thing we can uh, come up with is the experience, the dining experience in school canteen because uh, as a Hong Kong uh, university student in Hong Kong, we, off, uh, we go to uh, have din 
dinner or lunch in school canteen very often. And another one, another one would be in Cha Chan Tan, like what Tim said, uh, especially the stir fry brief new, uh, brief rice noodle. Uh, we think it, it is one of the representation uh, of Hong Kong food uh, culture. But the problem is if they want to experience such a uh, experience in uh, Chan Tan, the problem would be the place is too small for uh, the whole tour and the place will be uh, a little bit crowded. So we decide to uh, let the student to have such an experience in glass, the glass hall, which is a restaurant near uh, HKS SYU. And in one of the dinner of our tour, we will introduce the Hong Kong style barbecue to the foreign student. As all we know, the Hong Kong style barbecue is a bit different from the foreign one. And cup noodles is, uh, we consider cup noodles is one of the uh, iconic cuisine to the Hong Kong student. Uh, uh, it is a kind of late night snack, or if we are too busy, we choose to eat cup, cup noodle when we are uh, studying and prepare for the exam. And hot pot dinner, we will organize uh, the hot pot dinner in one of the common room in the residential and amenity buildings of HSYU. And before that, student, uh, the student tour guide will lead the student to shop in one of the one uh, in the one chai wet market for buying the ingredients for the hot pot dinner. And this is the st uh, dining schedule. Uh, as you can see, the day five and day six is empty. I will explain it later. And the day one will be the welcoming dinner. And, and uh, the second day, the lunch will be uh, organized in the grass house, like what I said, the stir fry, uh, stir fry brief rice noodle uh, will be the recommended uh, meal in, uh, in that lunch. And the day three, the breakfast will be egg tart. They are recommend. They are required to buy egg tart uh, themselves in one chai, uh, some bakery store. And after that, they have to buy ingredients in the market for uh, during the city hunt. After the city hunt for their dinner, their, for their hot pot dinner. And the day four, they will have a breakfast in. Uh, they will have a yam cha as a as their breakfast. <laughs> And the day five, um, as uh, the day five and day six is was empty. Uh, is empty because uh, that days are the free tours. They can go whatever they want. Uh, but we think they might still have a chance to experience local food culture because uh, the tour guide, the student tour guide, may lead them to the restaurant they prefer. So that uh, maybe Cha Chan Tan, they they visit the most. Uh, they think is the best. They can lead them to such a place uh, during these uh, three days. And also the HKU, they can lead them to the HKU restaurant to uh, some local things, uh, eat as a HK, like a HKU student. And at the end, there will be a Rafael Cup Noodles uh, party to be the end of their tour. Now, uh, there are some ideas we uh, actually thought of, but we didn't include. So in your Q&A, you, you can ask why. So the Q&A would be, so the Q&A would be, uh, you just throw it in the discussion. Then we have the conclusion. Now, last time I didn't get to the conclusion, and this time I shall do the conclusion. First, this tour is about the Syrian University for an authentic student's life. Therefore, our name of the tour is the Syrian University for the most local life. And in our tour, we will be as, as authentic and interesting as we love to. We will do what locals will do. We will take the transportation that locals will take and we will visit places where locals would visit. So all the interesting, all the interesting itineraries. And if you want, and you, if you want to make it come true, think of it. And this is our reference. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.